has won three FAI Cups in one league with Pat Forrester. Right footed delivery into the area. Good effort there from Jamie Lennon, and Lennon pumps St. Patrick's Athletic into an early lead here at Eamon DC Park. Lennon with a crisp finish, and it rattles the Galway United net, Oli. Yeah, a bit of hesitancy in the Galway defence here, and, and uh, you know, the, the, the St. Pat's player capitalising it, and a great finish to the, you know, this is the sort of thing where we talked about the very Sarah Keane, the, the bit of quality that we're going to be coming up against for this season, you know, there's no lapse in concentration can be allowed at all and John would have tried to sell this and just a, look at it, it's a, a slight setback but you know the, the rest is another 86, 85 minutes left to recover this um, little setback 176th appearance for Jamie Lennon and that was a beautiful finish arrowed into the Galway United net and Pat's lead in the west of Ireland by a goal to nil and uh, goes back to goalkeeper Brendan Clark Clark's clearance only goes as far as Levy Levy drives forward with a bit of purpose for the Super Saints Levy left footed effort and it wasn't too far away might even have kissed the post but that was a real warning for Galway United Levy is a talented attacking player too Ali yeah look at his he, that's a the second or third I know he's he's broken he's a serious pace he has and he, you know, just on look as you said the, the wrong side of the post but um, a slight slip uh, or a bit of inaccuracy by Clark trying to clear the ball out and uh, nearly punished for it shows good strength the support from Regan Donnan but he delivers a left foot across towards O'Sullivan at the back post ball spills for Curl Hurley Hurley low and hard goes corner. out for a corner kick Pat's not happy with the decision Keeley pleased that it was a goal kick but referee Ono Shea was on the premises and he is awarded a corner kick to Galway United Dave Hurley and Conor McCormack scamper across to take Galway United crowd salute the efforts of the home team who trail by a goal to nil here in miserable conditions bit of experience has added real value to the Galway United squad Regan Donnan tussles there with Keane Levy Mulraney quickly on the scene great work there from Jake Mulraney Mulraney left footed effort takes a deflection off Bruder Bruder did well to get a block then an attempted clearance bins off Mulraney and goes into the grateful arms of Brendan Clark or McCormack McCormack down the line to O'Sullivan O'Sullivan faced by Breslin O'Sullivan the deep cross Bruder with the header and the ball goes out for a St. Patrick's athletic goal kick. I was looking at the table that they were keen during the week um, th of th the way teams finished last year. And Shamrock Rovers had a 55% win ratio and St. Pat's finished third on 53. There's only one game, one win difference between both and one at 20, one at 19. It to Bruder, Bruder sweeps it clear. Stephen Walsh with the touch. Dave Hurley collides with Rory Keating. Keating does well has possession for the visitors try to find Chris Warriter Brendan Clark comes off his line Keating has possession though for St. Pat's Keating towards Mulraney and Regan Donlan has possession now for Galway United Conor McCormack Buckley to Cullum Horgan Horgan reads forward on the right to Vincent Borden back to Cullum Horgan Horgan to Regan Donnan Donnan with Ooh. a left footed drive it was always rising but it was worth a go Ollie yeah we look at it, it was came with a nice pace from him and he was quite entitled to have a shot at it but he didn't catch it at all just he's leaning back and over the, into the car park nice break again from Galway though you, you know nice bit of pace again and trying to get, open up the same paths Donnan Advances on the left for Galway United. Regan Donlan. The decent cross. Ed McCarthy with the header and Pitaluga gathers. But good work there from Regan Donlan. Make good ground on the left. Ed McCarthy did well to make a headed connection with that one. But goalkeeper Pitaluga saved. Yeah, fabulous cross from uh, uh, Regan Donlan. And uh, McCarthy probably caught it. Didn't catch it enough. You know, if he went to the near post, he would have caught the keeper. But good positioning by the goalkeeper. Donlan, Donlan well done. looks for Tom Costello. Tom Costello faced by Joe Redmond. Tom Costello, the right footed cross to Stephen Walsh. Walsh to 
Cullum Horgan. Horgan looks for Costello. Swivels. Costello gets a shot away. Good block from Redmond. Regan Donald Dalamine. Kazim. Kazim with a left footed cross towards a back post. Carlos oh. Sullivan with the header. Just couldn't direct it on target. Hurley heads it forward. Penalty. Ball. Penalty clay for United. Costello hits the deck. The home crowd absolutely incensed. And Ole O'Shea is going to give a yellow card to Stephen Walsh. It could be red. He looks for the back pocket. Or does he? And that's Ole O'Shea with another controversial red card to a Galway United player. We saw that a couple of seasons ago. We put off Wilson Oweru down in Turner's Cross. But Ole O'Shea, he couldn't get the card out quick enough, Ollie. Yeah, I... I Despite being only 16 years of age, what a prospect he is. Throw in for United. Killian Bruder fires it into the area. Keen Kavanagh has put in a shift too, following his introduction for Pats. Regan Donlan to Killian Bruder. Bruder with a left foot across into a packed area. Pitaluga punches it clear only as far as Dave Hurley. Hurley steers it Good towards ball. the back post. Hickey. Flag, oh, flag is up here. The assistant had it up and the, the assistant had it up quickly. Anto Breslin punches the air in delight. Ball forward. Hickey with a brave tackle. Connor Keeley leaves it for Pitaluga. Pitaluga brings the ball back into the area. The on loan goalkeeper. And referee Ono O'Shea blasts a full-time whistle. St. Patrick's Athletic make a winning start to the SSE or Tristy League Premier Division campaign. One goal to nil winners here at Eamon DC Park, Ollie.